Like my real name is not even Jimmy. That's my English name. My real name is Man Xing. In Cantonese, Man Xing. It stands for 10,000 success. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, 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 yeah. I had very ambitious parents. And now I'm telling jokes and doing Tai Chi on stage, so. I'm an old man now. I don't even like going outside anymore. All my friends, they're back to normal, right? They're like, oh, Jimmy, you want to go to Coachella? I'm like, nah, no seats. <laughs> oh. That doesn't look fun to me. Six hours standing in the desert? <laughs> that. And you see all these kids like with their Instagram posts, you know, it's always like people just like jumping around, dancing, and then all these buff dudes got like girls on their shoulder. I'm like, dude, you're not even going to a concert, you're doing CrossFit, how's that fun? <laughs> The only concert I've been to this year, I took my girlfriend to a Don McLean concert. Yeah, you guys know who that is? Yeah, a couple people, thank you, thank you. Don McLean, for you guys that don't know, sang the song Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Yeah, he's old as shit, dude. He's 77 years old and so was his audience. It was my favorite concert I've ever been to. On a ticket, it says the show started at eight, started at 7.59. I don't think anybody in their right mind would go to Winnipeg. Not that there's, a, there's nothing wrong with that city. It's way too cold and just not that fun. I had to go there for some work, so whatever. But I felt good. I walked through the border, I was holding my blue passport, and I slammed it down in front of the Canadian Border Patrol. I'm like, I'm American, sir. <laughs> and he's like, okay. <laughs> I didn't ask you that, but okay. <laughs> Are you here for business or pleasure? And I was like, I didn't think that far. I was obviously there for business, but I didn't get a business visa. So I looked him in the eyes. I was like, sir, I'm here for pleasure. <laughs> and he looked right back at me. He was like, are you sure? <laughs> because nobody comes to Winnipeg for pleasure. <laughs> the next thing you know, I was detained in this 10 by 10 box. <laughs> Nothing has changed. And then there's Rachel Brosnahan. Do you guys know who she is? <laughs> yeah. I love her. She plays the marvelous Miss Maisel. Great show, right? It's an awesome show. And I did a movie with her a few years ago, so I decided to say hi. I was like, oh my God, Rachel, it's so great to see you. Congratulations on everything. And she was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, okay, she probably just forgot who I was. I'm like, look, we did a movie like six years ago called Patriot's Day. You were awesome in that movie. I just want to congratulate you on everything you've done so far. And she was like, oh, yeah, sure. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> Is the marvelous Miss Maisel a bitch? <laughs> but I wasn't gonna act out of pocket. I was there to represent. <laughs> so I was very nice. I was just like, oh, it's okay. You just don't remember. Um, anyways, I just want to congratulate you for all the nominations on marvelous Miss Maisel. You're awesome. And she was like, oh. I'm not Rachel Brosnahan. <laughs> I'm Evan Rachel Wood from Westworld. <laughs> and I was like, holy sh I'm the racist person here. <laughs> I think all white people look alike. Everybody in the front row was judging me. John Stone was staring me down. I'm like, you're a bastard, you can't even stare. <laughs> And I didn't know what to do, right? I was profusely sweating, my face was flush red. So I was just like, oh my God, I am so sorry. But either way, it's so nice to meet you. My name is Aquafina. And then I just... <laughs> That's right. That's why it's good to have other representation out there. Asian people, we don't all look alike until we need to. So when I was 14 years old, I stole my brother's calculator. I stole Roy Rogers' calculator. <laughs> and I locked myself in my room and I started rebelling. I started doing math homework. <laughs> Other kids were like fucking around with like alcohol and drugs. I was fucking up some problems, you know? <laughs> locked myself in a room, I was just punching in numbers. I was like, oh man, this feels great, you know? <laughs> it's so wrong, it's awesome. <laughs> My dad was pissed. He was knocking the other side of the door. He doesn't like locked doors in the house. And he was screaming. He was like, Jimmy, Jimmy, what are you doing inside? Come out right now. I know you're using a calculator. Come out right now. 
I was so scared, I didn't know what to do. And he unlocked the door and he came in. I went into full panic mode, so I just threw away the calculator and I pulled out my pants. <laughs> Ever since I was five years old, my mom had me believe that anything I do would make me sick. <laughs> you go outside without a jacket, you get the flu. You go to bed with the fan on, pneumonia! God forbid you fall asleep with wet hair. You don't even wake up, that's it, you're dead, that's it, you're dead. That's fear-mongering, man. I'm not scared of anything anymore. I don't think I have any fear anymore. I don't even like going to Chinese restaurants with some of my friends anymore, because this is what they do to me every time. They're like, Jimmy, you speak Chinese? You speak Chinese? Yeah, yeah. Order in Chinese, bro. They're gonna hook it up. Order in Chinese? Bro, bro, order in Chinese, bro. I'm like, bro, we're Panda Express. My girl asked me, she was like, babe, what's your love language? I'm like, what? She's like, you know, your love language, like how do you convey love to your partners and loved ones? Like for example, a love language could be words of affirmation. I'm like, words of affirmation? <laughs> I was raised by Asian parents. <laughs> I've never heard one word of affirmation in my life. <laughs> Nobody ever told me, Jimmy, you're so great, you can do it. They're like, don't f it up. <laughs> Their love language is verbal abuse. trying to figure out my love languages. Physical touch, right? It's another love language. Nobody touched me until I was 22. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. What are some other love languages? Acts of sir. Well, <laughs> I, like, I like every woman just screaming out, at their partner. Act of service! <laughs> Gift giving! 